Yo! Um, I got a little sneaker video for y'all today. It's a reaction video, though. In the video today, we're reacting to John Wall against Custom Kobe's. And it's on overtime. So I'm gonna react to this. Uh, let me know y'all thoughts and videos of this. I should do more of it. But if y'all like the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And let's watch the full video. Let's go. Let's go! That's the most Oh, shit. Those Kobe's go hard. No cap. But John Wall, John Wall, bro. When you ask, get back in the corner, boy! Like, Frank, I know you're hurting now, but the Rockets need you, bro. You have Jalen Green, you have Kevin Porter Jr., and you have freaking Alfred Sangoon. That, that line's gonna be demon for young people, bro. He better not leave. One thing is, if you do anything good, don't get satisfied. I hate those Kobe's. I love my sneakers, too. Yo, John, what's good, bro? Hey, man, right up, right up, bro. Chilling in the summertime, man. Spending time with my kids, working out, just preparing for next season. Of course you're working out, because you need your ACL to get now. back normal. Like, what, what you, what you want to do? Me, you know, I lost both of my parents, so and I just lost my mom almost two years ago, so I definitely want to put rest in peace to her and then rest in peace to my dad, who I lost when I was nine years old, so. Oh, yeah, John, I've been saying that, bro. Yeah, in fact, you definitely got to get that on there. That's, that's, that's special, so. Definitely gonna get that on there for you, and I, uh, I think I got something in mind. A couple of little surprises we can throw in there too, make it, make it real nice. Yeah, I'm cool. Oh, that's already getting Surprise ideas. Some, I, I, I like it. You're getting ideas. I like it. You design it. Oh yeah, those Kobe's. I think those are the 10s. No, or the 11s. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I rate those. So we've teamed up with my guys over at Jack in the Box again for a new episode featuring my guy John Wall. I rate those Kobe's. Exactly Hold is. up, isn't John with a Diaz though? Well, I, he, I swear he was a Diaz, no? But, I, but, yeah, but you can wear Kobe's, I guess. Is, I rate them. Shame on you. I, I like the, at the same time, I like the shoes. He is the star point guard for the Houston Rockets, formerly the star point guard for the Washington Wizards, as you guys know. Hold up, did the guy say star point guard? Hold up, let me play this back. The guard for the Houston Rockets. Hold up, hold up. Guy John Wall. Now, if you guys don't know exactly who John Wall is, shame on you. But at the same time, he is the star point guard for the Houston Rockets. Okay, nah, 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 nah. He, I know you're a star for the Wizards, but not for the Rockets. Stop, bro. Formerly the star point guard for the Washington Wizards, as you guys know. I'm yeah, Wizards. Okay, guys. correct yourself. I was gonna uh, say, bro. To actually do this episode with this guy in particular because I've been trying to get you to him for a while. I like those Kobe, bro. He looks so clean. So today we're working with the Kobe AD Wolf. Oh, the Kobe AD is okay, okay, okay. That makes sense now. The Kobe AD Those line are mad comfortable. lightweight, low profile shoe that delivers speed and agility you need to dominate your opponents. Whether you're on the fast break or getting back on defense, I thought the tender line I'm cracking now. A, whole new level. a breathable mesh upper offers comfort while Lunalon foam and air zoom units allow for. I like the material to chew. A rubber outsole and traction pattern help prevent slippage so you can use all your quick cuts, jab steps, and utilize your full offensive repertoire just like the Black Mamba. Yeah, my friend has those. We've actually already kind of chopped it up a little Look, bit. Look, comfy. And figured out exactly what it is that he wants to do. Uh, we're going to go with one of my signature designs, my classic rose print. We're going to put that on here. Rose Ooh, print. Ooh, rose print. Mouth. And he actually gave me a couple of things that he wants on this shoe in particular. Of course, RIP to his mom, you know, Francis and Pulley. Good thing you got an idea. I rate it. I rate that shoe design. It's going to look fire. I already know. We're going to put that on the shoe some kind of way. And actually, at first, I was thinking that this shoe itself was maybe a bad canvas to do this on. You know, Kobe was really hard to get now, so um, these are the ones. Yeah, those got. are hard to get, especially um, the 80s. Gray itself, because the gray goes. I know Kobe passed. All right, Peter You know, and you guys, you guys know, I don't paint the bottoms of soles for athletes or professional athletes because I don't want any kind of injury risk. So I was gonna have to leave this gray here some kind of. Really? Way. And also, I was gonna figure out how to. So look how is covering the the sole give an injury risk? Hmm. Some kind of way, but I think what we can do. But is I think I'll go hard with the gray. The red and the, the red and black, I'll go hard with the design itself and having that gray and then turning that into maybe some kind of elephant concrete print kind of thing. Oh, um, okay, and okay. making that work with the actual rose growing from a concrete. I like shooting myself. Let's so see how he does this. I think we'll find a way to make it work and make it flow and should be good to go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He cut, he, he's wrapping um, it, taping up the soles here. Gotta make sure we leave those clean. I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the back heel section, cover up our logos to make sure we can get our concrete effect. And uh, everything else I got a plan for. So we'll just- That's mad this. clean. How you putting the tape? Now we've moved on to the actual painting and stenciling process. We got all of our stencils cut. I went with a stencil- Yeah, the bare shoe design and feature though. Put on at the end. It's just a matter of measuring it out with the ruler, making sure it fits to the grid. That's mad sick. The design shoes for a living, that looks pretty dope. I'm gonna go ahead and 
start painting on. Kind of, kind of like it kind of like hard in some of the view I'm seeing right now. The, the colorway. Base kind of does. For the rose I'll put the screen or something. Some kind of base format and then get a little more abstract as you go out. It kind of does look at the hardens, no cap, but it kind of does look like a carden out, kind of. And the shadowing process I do with stenciled cutout that I made myself will actually I like the design though, it looks pretty abstract cool. abstract form without actually having to paint it on with it. No, the rose pen looks amazing. So it'll all be airbrushed, but this is one of my signature designs, so won't be walking you through exactly how we do it, but it's gonna look good. Some would probably call it luck. I just call it being blessed. Guessing they get it, cause look at me now and then look at yourself in the mirror. I know they doubted my thesis. I like the design. Look at that. Jeez. And now that that's done, I'm Ooh. gonna go ahead and finish up the shark mouth teeth on here. Ooh, it's like it's like kinda like vape design kinda. I rate that. Good idea. Each part as I do the red underneath and then the black on top. Um, that's just something I like to incorporate in these types of designs. Damn, it kind of like a babe shoe, kind of. No cap. I like to think of it as a, you know, you need a little bit of teeth to, you know, to make it out the concrete. Kind of like, like babe, kind of. Ooh, it's a Nike logo, too. It looks pretty cool. Now, to do the cement print, I'm just going to grab myself a brush. Um, toothbrushes work really well. I actually have a different type of brush over that's here. That's fun. Um, but I'm going to use this. I'm just going to dip it in the paint and then speckle it on by pulling the bristles back. So, nice Ooh. and simple, but it has a nice effect. Same thing you that's see satisfying. on the Jordan 3s and 4s and all that kind of stuff. So, as you can see, that's you got a cool. lot of those cut out here. Just using the mini iron to fuse them to the insoles. Oh, I have insoles? Yo, insoles. Those insoles go hard. Gotta stick these bad boys back in the shoes. Get them oh, yeah, I think it's this brand, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. Those are hard. Those are like comfy insoles. For this shoe, I went with a full rose print upper with the shark mouth, as I normally do for my rose print. Kind of like bait fish. You can see, like, from the top here. It can kind of give me, the, give me bait vibes right now. Kind of. It can kind of look like Harden's, too, by the way they're designed, but, like, it's Kobe, so... Yeah, kind of like skull candy here. I rate it. I like the design. Then I went and put some of his favorite phrases on the front toe caps of the shoes as well. You know, I like satisfied it. as well as so determined. And then on the back nice. heels of the shoe, we went ahead and put Ace and Amir's two kids and then R.I.P. I like it. That's a cool design. To John Wall Sr. and then R.I.P. to his mother. And then, of course, I put Good the thinking. concrete print, you know, that Nike concrete style print onto the actual gray area. Ooh, we put a Kobe print on there too. It's pretty cool. We left untouched just to actually tie the whole thing together. I like it. Know that the rose does grow out of the concrete if you work hard enough to do everything you gotta do. So I think the whole shoe came out dope, came out nice, it all played Good idea. together. It's got a lot going on, but it's still a cohesive theme and it'll be interesting for them to wear. I like shoot myself, like but like shoe design seems pretty, pretty lit. Oh, Jack in the Box, the restaurant. I forgot about that. I know that's in the US. If Canada had that. About to meet up with John Wall, but I'm a little bit hungry, so. I oh shit, do like brothers, bro. Hi, right, can I get a uh, jumbo jack, please? Curly fries. Ooh, tacos, curly fries. And a vanilla shake. Yeah. Sir. Holy oh, shit, John Wall putting some a bit of muscle. Not gonna lie. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. I got something for you. Don't no, try to surprise me. Ooh, he wrapped it lit. No cap. I like, I like how he wrapped it. Oh, she popped that. Yeah, I like how he wrapped it. It looks pretty dope. Uh, I like with Nike. No, I mean, idea is the correct me. I like the Venom laces. Like, the Venom prints look pretty cool. Like, all around the shoe, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, man, you know, that's what I'm saying. I get a little, little surprise for you. I should get Kobe, though. They're a little mad hard. And they're a little comfortable. You know, and, you and me, because I play big, I should get those. Yeah, for sure. So I wanted to get everything on there that she wanted on there. You know, we talked about the, you know, the concrete rows kind of concept. So try to pull that through and, uh, you know, show them, you know, you can make it from wherever, you know, as long as you put the work in. So. Yeah, these are dope because you got my favorite quote. I think you went on a practice course. Yeah, I know he sponsored Deer or something. Or did he switch? I don't know. Where you be at in life, you feel like you should see it. Kind of know John and Diaz back in the days. They're okay. Exactly, exactly. Like my motive is like, even though I made it to the day, like, 
accomplish a lot of things, I still stay determined to work hard because I'm trying to get to the ultimate goal. So exactly, I just try yeah. to tell a lot of kids that's the most important thing is if you do anything good, don't get satisfied with it. Exactly. You know, the journey ain't done until you get to get to you know, TLP. So. And Jones, he's, I think he's 6'3 yeah, or 6'4, no? You know, you know, you I know, think he's, I'm pretty sure he's 6'4. You know, obviously, to strive for so, yeah. you know, I already know you're going you're gonna to get there. So, like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, pull something out, surprise you a little bit, make sure uh, that he's dope, and that they're going to look fire on the court. So, uh, these are definitely fire, and these are definitely. I swear, you must have switched my DS, because I know Ideas, so, they kind of. He put my favorite. They kind of harass her athletes sometimes. But just that, like having my mom and my dad up here with my kids, I feel like that's the most important thing to me. And I and call it a Rockets caller, too, because I know the Rockets callers are white and are red. Like every time I step on the court, I play for my parents, but then I also play for my boys now, so that's the most important thing to me. Nice little touch, you know, shout out to our guys over there. Looks dope. Possible. I appreciate it, you know, got me out here and got to meet, you know, a whole life legend out here and, uh, you know, one of the, one of the DC heroes out here, so I, I appreciate that. Definitely dope, so shout out Jack and the Bucks for this and Corey, because they made this happen. Oh, You okay. know the last fam, listen, the drops don't stop and neither do the Okay, players. that's a bit. All right, y'all. Um, overtime was a good video to shoot it on. Actually, I liked the video, but um, I saw this on my um, computer the other day, and I wasn't home, so I wanted to react to it. But uh, if you are new, hit the sub button and uh, like, comment, subscribe. You kind of hit 100 subs by the end of summer or into the fall. But um, that's it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we out.